What's up, duelists? It's Nerp here, and I'm actually recording this video the same day I recorded my last video because the gauntlet run that I started with that epic game uh, is not even over. Uh, I am eight and one, so definitely a very good run. I'm very happy with this. Uh, so I decided why not try to finish it in a video. So one more win or two more losses will end the run. So I've two chances to win a game and get the full rewards for the gauntlet run i'm not sure if you get more rewards for being like 9-0 rather than 9-1 or 9-2 i assume you'd get the same amount of rewards for the number of wins you get but uh i guess i wouldn't know because <laughs> whatever happens uh after the run i'll see what rewards i get uh so really none of the matches after that first match in the video um episode 15 or 16 i don't know what that was but none of the matches since then have really lived up to that epic one uh i've been pretty smooth sailing since then a couple close games a disconnect on my opponent's part one of them uh and all of a sudden i just need one more win to get to uh to get to nine and I'm not really sure what the rewards do when you get to 9. I'm not sure if you get a legendary card, if you get only one pack still. I don't know if you get to choose a card from your deck. That'd be cool to like, like in scrolls, you choose cards from your judgment deck. It'd be nice to see if you can ch choose cards from your duelist deck. And I'm actually not going to edit this part of the video out if this takes a long time to find a match because when I, since I, as you know, I took out my scrolls intro uh, like three or four videos ago. And since I don't have the scrolls intro anymore, there's really no point in me editing my videos and rendering them. Uh, I don't have to do anything now. I just upload the raw files. So me not editing, editing out the finding a match time would take like, a lot of, much longer time because I have to render the video as well. This I can just upload the file straight to YouTube from the recording. So I'm going to get rid of the Fireblaze Obelisk and Entropic Decay. So going for the uh, ninth victory. We're playing against Dugginator, who is also rank zero. Uh, I'm kind of worried about that. I'll get rid of Line Scorch, and I guess I'll be moving up to and putting down a Pyromancer. So I get a Science Third Wish, an Inner Oasis, a Tropic Decay. Kind of wish I didn't replace that Fireblaze Obelisk because then I had a clear play next turn. Whatever. This uh, Science Third Wish could come in hand and get you to a five attack. But I'd like to do it. I see. I, I kind of want to make you have five attack, but I feel like it's almost like a waste. Uh, fortunately, I don't have four. I'll get rid of the inner oasis. I do get a fireblaze obelisk, but I think I'm gonna be destroying this thing. So. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this uh, Mana Spring from Dugginator. I don't want him to have an easy access Mana Spring. And I will destroy his Silver Guard Knight. So next turn I'm set to take either of these Mana Springs with my General. I have Entropic Decay to destroy anything. And uh, a Blast Guy up here. So he's gonna play Tempest, which is... Uh, and it plays one job and an artifact, so pretty good turn for him. I'll get rid of the psych. Uh, do I get rid of the science third wish? It's not really gonna help me right now, so I'm gonna get rid of it. Who knows? The dispel might really uh, come in handy, you know. I'm going to. It's tough. Very tough. Uh, he can come towards my general. Screw it, I'm gonna move out of here. 
and play the Fireblaze Obelisk. And I'm wasting two mana, unfortunately I don't have anything else to play. Nothing really for me to dispel either. Yeah, that was actually, what he did that turn was a really uh, unfortunate for me because I didn't really had no uh, clear play after that. Like if he played a decent minion, I would have easily just played the Tropic Decay to destroy it. And now he's doing some damage to me, but I am going to get a three attack dervish. So I'm happy about that. I can destroy one of these things with Entropic Decay. And yeah, so not terrible. Uh, my only minion in hand is a Void Hunter. So it's like whatever, you know. And I am afraid I'm already down to 16 health. I don't have any ways of healing. I should have Google One Suns here, but whatever. Okay. Uh, let's get rid of Scion's third wish again. Rock Pulverizer and Void Hunter. So nice. I can play two things this turn. And I'm not going to use the... I mean, I could destroy that. No, I'm not going to. Or do I want to? If I do that, then I don't have like another play this turn. Yeah, okay. I am gonna put two damage on you, just so that it dies to one hit on the Rock Overizer and it can't get two celerity attacks in. So I'll provoke those, and then I'll put the Void Hunter. Don't wanna put him somewhere. I'm gonna have to put him all the way back here. I don't want to put him anywhere that the planner scout can just trade with because that's much stronger and still nothing really to dispel okay so now I got some nice big blast dudes but I'm not really in a position to go in all right well that's destroyed um, which means he's gonna be able to destroy the obelisk there so if that's his whole turn it's not the worst thing in the world I got, I got healed by four so I guess I was wrong and that was the only way of healing. Uh, Arclight Sentinel is really good for him. Because it dies, I don't get any card from its dying wish. Yeah, that was really nice for him. So now, okay, I have to somehow, okay, uh, I'm gonna play the Starfire Scarab. I'm gonna destroy you, and I'll play the Starfire Scarab down here. So it can take it can take two damage straight away, and nothing for me to dispel still. Ugh. So I can play Golem Eldris, and my Skyrock Golem's only gonna cost one. I really hope this thing survives. If this thing survives, then I'll be able to do some stuff. What's he gonna do? I mean, he's a good player. He's rank zero. So, I'm worried. And he's going to put down a Saber Spine Tiger. He's gonna go face. Yeah, he's, good. he's going right for me. Uh, I'm gonna. How much health am I gonna be left on? Two health, so I'm dead to a Tempest. Which we've already seen him play one. Well, this game could be over very shortly. I will get rid of. I'm gonna get rid of Entropic Decay. I feel like that's not gonna come in handy because I'm gonna run away with my general. Oh, I was hoping for Provoke. Didn't get provoke. So first let's run away. Uh, I have to destroy I would love to put four damage on his general, but I have to destroy this. And to do that I could move up, but then I take damage. I'm gonna move over here, which is gonna block his general from going towards me. And now I will try. You know what, let's just go like this. 
I mean, I'm dead. If he has, like, any kind of rush, I'm dead. But, you know. Probably dead. Probably just Tempest or something. Because I don't think he'd go so hard face last turn if he didn't have a way to destroy me the next turn. Does he have any uh, way to deal two damage to me? If I can draw a Scion's Third Wish, then I have a chance of taking the game. Uh, maybe I should have held on to that. I would have been holding on to it for a very long time. Okay. So it looks like I'm going to survive this turn. Um, I desperately need Provoke. Oof. Okay, he's healing him up as well. If I had a Scion's Third Wish this turn, I win the game. Um, I have two Primus Fists, which helps. Uh, let's keep the Dispel. Let's get rid of this. Science first wish. So let's see. I can get you to four attack, five attack, six attack. So that's they have each one is seven attack, one is six attack. And how much damage does that do? Um, seven plus six, thirteen. All right. So I can actually. Hmm. I might be able to actually uh, win this here. I mean, at least get a draw. So, then I can't play both, darn it. I might have lethal, but I have to. Oh, I, I can do this, right? And then move over. Come on, move. Oh, I ran out of time. I, I, I ran out of time. I could have gotten a tie. I could have gotten a tie. Darn it. Ah, oh, I wish there was just a timer and duelist on the top. All right, I'm pretty pissed off about that. I, I had the tie. I had the draw. Actually, I don't know what... Um, I never had a draw in Gauntlet, so I don't know what that would have done. But I am not happy about that. I had the nine. I think that would have been a win because I know ranked counts draws as wins. <sighs> wow. And I saw the uh, I saw the draw. I just, I mean, ninety seconds is fine, but it's really hard when you don't know the time of each of each turn. Like I'm so used to in scrolls having that ninety second clock there the whole time. And this, I just feel so casual until you see that bar come up, and then you have to click around, and then the animations take a long time. All right, I'm getting a little, uh, little heated here. This anger can go away if I just win this next game. Unless there was a much better reward for going nine and one than nine and two. So, yeah, uh, that was not, uh, not too pretty. Um, so close to get, I, I had the draw. Like, I've seen people that said you can, like, click early, but I do that, and then it sometimes just doesn't work. I'm not sure if I did that there, though. I probably should have. Uh. So, like I said, we're going to wait for a match to come up. So, sit quietly. I'll sit quietly.
Alright, here we go. Jazz. Jazz. I don't know how to say that. Um, well, I have two two drops to start off with. And I'm going second. I'm going to see if... Here, let me check the duelist. Duelist wiki. Uh... To see the gauntlet rewards. I'm sure it's gonna be shown here. Okay, so we're playing as Magmarius rank 15. Um, hopefully that means this won't be too hard. I'm gonna get rid of the Void Hunter. I mean, it's a three drop I can play, but I don't know. So I'll play that there and then play this here. I would like to have the provoke guy in front, but I also would want him to get the attack buff. Alrighty then. Um, doesn't look like it's on the wiki. Why wouldn't that? It seems like Duelist Gauntlet Rewards. Okay, so, here, nine wins, oh, I think you get one spirit orb always, you don't get any more than that. Uh, alright, well, I'm gonna get rid of the Safia Kerr, remember, I don't have any wildfire ink, so move down, put you here, and may as well just move forward with the other guys, so, very good start for me, I'm confident with this one. So I'm just reading, people have just posted there what they got for the rewards on Reddit. It's nine wins, one spirit orb, uh, 260 spirit, one common, one rare. Uh, oh, I thought you'd get a legendary. Hmm. Oh, well somebody got eight wins actually and got 290 spirit and a common and an epic that's better is it like random a little bit i don't know hmm hopefully it's not uh i think it must be a little random well so, I can play Bright Moss Golem, I can play both of these things. I should probably destroy that before it hatches. So let's go ahead and do that. And I'm just gonna kind of be aggressive here. I think I'm in a position where I can be aggressive. Uh, so there's Science Third Wish. Oh, he's just gonna surrender. Well, there's win number nine. Um, and this happens sometimes where it just like loads and it's not gonna end loading. So I'm gonna reload the page. Okay. Wait one second, guys. I turned off uh, OBS from recording the screen because. Uh, when that happens, it makes me retype in the uh, email and password. Man, I can't wait for this client to come. Okay. Wait, what? It says game in progress? I thought he surrendered. Really? We have to restart this game? I had such a great start. Oh, come on. Well, at least I have pretty good start again 
I mean, I had that game, I think. I had, like, my last guy on the board. I was in control. Maybe this is one of those bugs where it's going to have him surrender now. Let's we'll see. Yep, this game, uh, definitely not without its bugs. It is in beta, so you can't, like, put too much blame. And it's fun. So, uh, so far, I'm, I'm happy with Duelist. I'm very happy with Duelist. Uh, Spellweaver, I... Oh, is he here, actually? So, wait, do I have to actually redo this game? I'm going first now. I didn't even realize that. Uh, let's put that there. So, it looks like I have to try to win this game twice. I mean, I think it's safe to assume I was going to win that last game. Okay. Everything's on the table here. I'm 8-2. That's not good. Uh, well... Let's get rid of Naga. Let's just... Let's just play that right in the middle. I'm, try, I'm gonna try not to go right in there with my general. Because he might have better artifacts than me. So. What's he doing? Gonna play something. So if I can get my Dervish to go on top of a Mana Spring next turn, then I can play the Starfire Scarab. Alright, there's Pargatos. And he has one more mana. Okay. So. And where is it going to spawn? Right there. So should I deal three damage to you? I kind of wish it spawned one of these two so I can deal damage to him as well. Uh, I think... I think, yeah, I'm going to... I'm gonna put down the Starfire Scarab. And I'm gonna dispel this. I don't want it just to keep healing him. Uh, I will... Keep holds of everything else. I like my powerful creatures. Okay, there is a Science First Wish. Pretty good for the Starfire Scarab. Now, I really hope the Starfire Scarab does not get dispelled. Let's hope that it does not get dispelled. I don't want to see a mana burn. You already used one on my Ethereal Obelisk. So, what's he got up his sleeve? Um, he'll probably just attack this Fire Blaze Obelisk twice so he can destroy it. He's not going to take any damage back. Hopefully he makes a mistake and lines up his units. Looks like he's not going to make a mistake though. Better attack that. Yeah, he's going to attack it. Okay. Taking an awful long, an awfully long time. Alright, well he didn't what is he doing? Why didn't he finish that off? He didn't attack with the general yet, did he? That's odd. Well, now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I want to get rid of this. I don't want to see this being born again, so I'll, here, I'll get rid of the right mouse column. So I'll play science first wish. Um, and then I'm going to destroy that. I'll finish it off with my general. And... Uh... Now how do I do this? I want to destroy... 
you don't have quite enough damage here. I'll have to lose one of my own things. Uh, let's see. Let's just... Alright, we're gonna use this then. I didn't want to use, uh, have to use three, two, three attacks to destroy that. Dispelled three, four, but I guess it doesn't, it's not too bad. And, yeah, so, I'm not sure what Jazz was doing there, not, not finishing off this Fireblade Obelisk. Unless he is having connection issues, because maybe that's why it was like having that weird disconnect earlier. I don't think it was on my end. Uh, my internet is pretty stellar. And everything runs very smoothly. Still have our elder. Okay, I wish I had the spell for that thing. Um, or I would like to act. Well, he should really be destroying that. Um. Oh wait, is the game bugged? I think the game is bugged. I think he tried he tried to deal damage to this and it didn't work. Is that what just happened? I think the game might be bugged. Um yeah, wow. Uh so I'm going to Well you can't reach anything. Actually, yeah, you can. I'm going you there. Let's get rid of the... I can hold both of those. That's the thing. Oh, let's get rid of the crossbow naga. Okay. So, I'm going to get rid of the egg. Now, I'm going to move down to... Um, three damage. Oh no, I can't. I can finish that off, but then it's just another egg. Well, he's just gonna surrender. Okay, well, wow, this is a really weird duelist video. Uh, that first game was dreadful. I almost won, but all right, no connection issues now. Everything should be working. All right, nice. I got my nine wins. Okay, so it doesn't even say two losses anymore, so I doubt that rewards will be affected by your number of losses. Let's see what I get. Okay, so... No legendary. I got a gauntlet ticket so I can play this game, so that's like worth 150 gold. And then this is worth 100 gold, this is a pack. 250 spirit, hard to quantify that, but that's... You can get cards, and then I got two rare cards. Um... Okay. Not as much as I thought, because you got a quite a bit, there's not like n enough of a, I don't think there's enough of a difference between like a few wins and nine wins. I feel like the prize is pretty similar besides the gauntlet ticket, which is valuable though. Uh, so, um, I'll go ahead and just do this then to finish off the video. Um, so, nothing too valuable that I don't already have. Well, that'll be it. A uh, bit of a frustrating video. <laughs> um, I was a little salty of the game at times in this video because of the first game where I ran out of time, but that's probably my fault. And that second game where I, like, had a win and then I didn't have a win. So, uh... Still, Duelist, everybody that played Duelist, I think it's a game with a bright future, and I just got my first 9 win gauntlet, so I have to be happy about that, right? Uh, like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe for more content, and I'll see you next time. Keep on dueling, Duelists.